so needs more seasoning. This, this is a classes of salt. Oh, I just thought it was it was relevant and you're under seasoned. Oh. Well, I guess we are under salt now. Yeah, so, so that, that fits. Yeah. So, salt. In A-level chemistry, you have to describe it in a special way. Yes, and that's a salt is any chemical compound where the H plus from an acid has been replaced by a positive ion. Normally a metal, sometimes it can be the ammonium ion. And we can show this best, I think, with an example. Like, when you make table salt, yes. you'd have an acid, like hydrochloric acid. Your product would be that. So, if we have hydrochloric acid, as Triv says, the one to do. Then you'll need sodium in some form, so you can have it as a hydroxide. Because you know that um, alkalis and acids will react mm -hmm. to try and neutralise themselves. You're going to get this NaCl, NACL and H2O, and that'll be a common theme the acids will go over in a bit. So the reactions we're about to go through, including this one, are the reactions you need to know off by heart. Not the exact things, but how they work. You've got an acid plus a hydroxide makes a salt and water, and that will happen with any acid with any... Uh, hydroxide will make a salt plus water. And this isn't the only acid and base reaction you have to know. No, we have to know it with metal oxides, we have yeah. to know it with carbonates. We do. So, similar things happen with these two things. We'll use the same acid, HCl, it's nice and simple. And you have something like uh, well, do an oxide, magnesium oxide. Magnesium oxide, MgO. You're going to get your salt. You don't want to put all these salts on your chips. They're not all yeah, salt. They're not all appropriate for that. We're going in a short while about the uses of salts. It's not just on your chips and not on your chips. You'll notice you've made a salt and you've made water, as Tripp said. Common factor of water. Yeah. And this is a salt. This one isn't balanced, so you have to balance it every time. And it's going to balance it. the chlorines, and it happens to balance the hydrogens as well. Yeah. So that's what I'm done with. Now we need a carbonate, so same acid again, and maybe calcium carbonate. Okay, CaCO3. CO3 is your formula for a carbonate. As, as is um, hydroxide, is OH every time. And this is something you'll get used to at A-level. A bit later we'll explain why each um, molecule bonds as it does to do with oxidation numbers, but until then you just have to sort of trust us. So this one produces CO2, which is uncommon to the others. It also produces the water and the salt. Again, we need to balance it. Yep, yep you will. You'll notice the chlorine isn't balanced and yet again it happens to balance the hydrogen as well. Yeah. And these three work with, as Wayne said earlier, with any set of carbonates, any acids. Just some happen faster or slower depending on the strength of the acid. So, to sum up, any acid plus any hydroxide goes to the resulting salt and water. Any acid plus any metal oxide goes to the resulting salt and water. And any acid and any carbonate goes to resulting salt, water and carbon dioxide. Um, and that, that's any, any acid will work in the same way, just be careful to balance them and make sure you get the right products. Uh, things that salts can be used for, car batteries, ammonia, or ammonium, is a salt used in fertiliser. Yes, and there's a little reaction we can use here, you've got your NH3. Uh, I always forget what you react it with. Hang on just a sec. HNO3, that one. Because that is, oh, that's yeah. the correct acid to use, because you notice it's got its H. But this time, rather than just dissociating, you can think of it as joining, and you get, as, as I said earlier, it can be a, um, a metal or an ammonium ion. Now, NH4 would be an ammonium ion. It would. So the H just gone from there to there, but then NO3 is attached in the same molecule, and that's your resultant. And that would be the fertiliser, and that's the example that they let you to know that I'm doing big questions on that. Yes. Um, you're probably aware that in fertilisers you've got nitrogen, you've got ammonia, you've got some phosphorus, yeah. and you do the NPK Calcium. rating, and um, you're probably familiar with that from GCSE. Yeah. But that's the ammonium salt, and that's how you make it. That's another reaction you might need to know. Yeah. And you've just got to get very used to these sort of reactions. A lot of the um, practicals you'll do will be using these and identifying stuff you don't know. And you might have done this at GCSE where you reacted a carbonate and you tested CO2 in lime water, and that would be to do with this reaction. It might be something similar. Yep. And uh, I think that's it for this chapter. I think that is. I think that is. So, do you think I can now call myself a well-seasoned actor? Oh, excellently seasoned. <laughs>